Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dilk on Battle video, and today I want to do a showcase on this new uh, Int free-to-play trunks from the Broly movie. Um, I've actually been hearing pretty good things about this guy, and this guy could be potentially a game changer um, for Goten and Trunks units. Um, I've talked about previously how we have those 80% damage reaction Goten and Trunks is, and all I've been saying is all they need is a counterpart that can go in slot one, and this guy actually looks like he could be it. And then we still have to keep our eyes out because I'm pretty sure the Dokkan Fest physical go tenant trunks feel like there's a pretty good chance they're going to easy in the celebration as well. So we're going to throw out a team here and just try them out. Um, we're going to be in red zone movie boss rush, so it is competitive content. I want to see how they do, but let's take a look at this guy's kit, right? So he's a hybrid Saiyan uh, key three and 50% lead, not anything you're going to use. Keep in mind, by the way, I think they built this guy good enough that they're not actually going to easy him during the celebration. Like he looks good right now and they already said like the tech paragus they're not going to easy during the celebration so i wonder if they've been like kind of taking feedback from the player base because one of our big complaints is is we don't like when free-to-play units come out in easy a right away because then they're like like they'll be like solid or whatever at the time but then they're dead for later on like you can't easy them later this way if they make them good right now without the easy a you pretty much just give them the kit what they would have had with the easy a but don't actually easy a them that means later down the road, we have the option to easy aid this guy, right? So I, I think that's great. So let's take a look here. Now, if they do actually easy aid this guy, I guess that's a possibility, but he's going to get even better. Um, so super attack effect, he greatly raises defense for three turns, does supreme damage, and then raises all allies defense by 30% for one turn. So he's actually a defense support, um, but it's only after he supers. So typically that's not good because you have to be in slot one, but they kind of built this guy for slot one. So we'll, we'll see how he looks. I think it is maybe kind of like, it's asking a lot, I think, to want us to put a free-to-play unit in slot one because they're typically not going to have the defense to live anything. So it's pure dodge or die, right? So we'll see how he handles this uh, situation we're going to put him in here. He's got a pretty big passive, though. Look at that. For a free-to-play unit, this is also why I don't think he's going to easy A yet because he's got a healthy passive here. Key 2, attack and defense 140. Another attack 140. Launches an additional that has a high chance of becoming a super if there's another hybrid Saiyan attacking in the same turn. And then hybrid Saiyan uh, allies get key 1, attack and defense 25. And then another 1 key and 25% attack and defense for specifically Gohan Teen, which is going to be the new LR, and Goten Kid. Um, and that's So basically for Gohans and Gotens, they're going to be 2 key 50% supported. But 25% of that or half of that is only for four turns, okay? Because um, that's for only lasting for four turns. And then another defense 40% when receiving an attack. So if he happens to get hit, he's going to get a defense buff. Now, I don't know. We'll see what his defense looks like. I don't know if this guy's even going to be able to handle a normal, but we'll see. He has a high chance to dodge, which is 50%, but he gets another 20% chance to dodge as the first attacker in a turn. So in slot one, he's 70% chance to dodge. That's, you know, it's like STR UI Goku, right? So that's, it's good enough that we can run in slot one. It's just, if you get a big barrage and if he can't handle normals, like you're not going to want to put him there, but we'll see. Now he does get an additional chance of evading enemies attack plus 20%. Or as the first attacker, we got that. Uh, an additional attack 140. He temporarily has a high chance to perform a crit upon the character's next attack after evading an attack. Uh, the crit's not a big deal. I don't think this is going to be a damage character anyways. And then an additional chance to evade plus 20% up to 20 within a turn. Uh, within the next attacking turn, every time the character evades five or more attacks in battle. So this is where the guy gets kind of crazy is that in slot one, if you know you've made the fifth dodge, you might have to count it. I, I think they'll, they'll have a symbol maybe that pops up for it. But when you know you've got that up, that means he's 90% dodge. So he's almost a guaranteed dodge character. So on those turns, you can really guarantee put him in slot one. And then they gave him this really good active skill. So activate it after we evade five or more enemy attacks. So once you get that fifth dodge in, he's going to be 90% dodge for the next turn. And then he goes back to 70%, and you get five dodges, and he goes back up to 90 again. So there's still going to be RNG involved in this guy, but for a free-to-play unit, it's a pretty cool mechanic. And his active skill is he gets another 40% defense, and he basically has a locking mechanic. So almost as good as like, um, you know, like Gogeta Blue, because he has the lock, but he has 100% chance to dodge. Well, this guy's going to lock and have... 
um, 90% chance to dodge. And if he happens to get poked, hopefully with just the normal, he will get a 40% buff. And then the active skill is given him more defense. Maybe his defense gets crazy. I mean, if this guy's like over a million defense uh, with the active skill, like that wouldn't be too bad. Like he still could die, right? A super that hits him, but the idea that he's going to dodge. So when we look at the build here, I mean, I feel like this is 100% a full dodge build. Now you can argue he's got so much dodge built in. Why would you want to go dodge build? Well, you're really counting on him to dodge. So you want to have backup dodge in case it fails. And you're never going to know when it fails and that your dodge saved you. But trust me, it's going to be happening. Um, even when he's at 90%, there's going to be times where that fails. And then maybe the 30% hidden potential saves you. So I did go 30% dodge because really this guy's like a support unit, right? Like I'm not looking at him for damage. I do see the argument for additionals because he does stack defense. So you do want him to do additionals. But like... I got to go all in dodge here. So I just have mine with six additional. If I if I really like this guy, I would maybe invest, invest some dodge and additional equips, like dodge additional on the same equip. But I felt like I just had to invest full dodge in him because that's really what you're banking on him to do. Now, keep in mind, I was really anxious to get this video out. So I have not link leveled him yet. So he's very lowly link leveled. So we'll keep that in mind when looking at the stats, right? But he is rainbowed and kind of ready to go. So let's take a look at the team build. Now, my team build is going to look a little wonky because I'm trying to like really support him and focus on him. So I'm actually going to treat him as an on rotation unit and I'm going to put him on rotation with this Goten. This is the 80% damage reduction Goten, but he has to be with a Trunks. And the issue with this guy is that he only gets the full 80% after he attacks. So he's relegated to slot two. So that's why you can't just run both of the 80% as a rotation and feel like you're good because the, the unit slot one is only 50% damage reduction and doesn't get a bunch of defense until after they super. So you can't put them in slot one. But now if I'm running this kid trunks in slot one, I'm going to try this Goten in slot two. And I think hopefully if things go well, kid trunks should be dodging. And this guy should actually be able to flat out tank stuff with 80% damage reduction, right? Um, and he's going to be linking up really well. Now what's wonky about the team is I definitely, like you want to run this guy, right? Like the physical trio. I don't have them, but they lead Super Saiyans as does this unit. So I'm going to run the int trio as my lead. And I've got the physical trio as a friend unit. And I'm going to run them as a rotation together. And then I am going to float this Gohan as a 70% dodge unit that supports. I'm going to float uh, this Gohan as a damage reduction unit that supports. And then I'm going to float this Gohan just as something tanky I can put in slot three. So Let's go ahead and give it a try here. So turn one, I do have the int trunks and I want him on rotation, but I'm going to float him because the Goten is on the second rotation and I want them together like ASAP. So for the sake of the showcase, I want to get them off. So 100k defense third turn, not that great. Um, but once again, he's meant to dodge. We'll see what happens. So let's go ahead here. Um, I'm going to try no items as much as I can. And I just want to purely see what this trunks can do. Now keep in mind this trunks is only 50% chance to dodge on slot three. So he definitely could get tagged here. We'll see what happens. Um, and once again, I'm not expecting much damage out of him, but we'll see. Um, but I got to get him with that Goten like ASAP, and then we're going to put him in slot one and hopefully watch him dodge like crazy. Now, keep in mind, I do have 50% chance to dodge, and I got a backup 30% chance. Still a pretty decent chance he gets hit here, and from normals probably will take damage. Five mil for a high school Gohan. I'm actually curious how well he's going to tank because he has 58% damage reduction. All right, let's see what happens. Does he take damage? Double digits, nice tank there. I know it's first round, but like these units do have, like they're pretty beefy on their attack stats. Okay, okay, not much damage there. Okay, let's see if he dodges or if he takes damage from... Okay, he got a dodge, so we'll take it. We'll take the lucky dodge here. So now we're going to keep Goten on rotation. We're going to float the physical trio. Um, yeah, we'll do this. We'll put Gohan slot one um, because Goten does not have, um, he's only 50% damage reduction. So putting him in slot two is perfect here. So we'll do this. Let's do this. We should have some physical orbs lined up nicely here for the physical trio. Um, once we get things set up, it'll be nice because that physical trio will have the two turn defense buff. So we'll keep in mind we got that going. Um, but it's not going to be as good as if you're actually running both of them as the lead, because then you get both units on rotation, you're running the double buffs. But if you're trying to do this Trunks Goten thing I'm doing, like you kind of have to float one of them. That's like, that's the huge downfall, right? Of the 80% damage reduction units is they have to have the counterpart or Krillin, which we don't have a good enough Krillin yet to run. 
Um, but you can't run them on rotation unless you have a slot one unit of that name, right? Unless you can get like so many that they're all floating around and always tagging up. But uh, let's see here. So it was like, what, like 4 million or something like that? Okay, and then 17 mil for the sky. Okay, sure, we'll take it. The go 10 in Trunks turn is going to be interesting for the slot three unit because the Trunks is going to be defense supporting and the go 10, I believe, is attack supporting when they attack. So that slot three unit is going to be looking pretty nice on those turns. It's kind of like running the team in reverse where you kind of have your floating unit on rotation and the big unit in slot three. Okay, so right here, um, I don't know. Who do I want in slot one and who do I float? Hmm. I guess we'll do this. Yeah, 500k defense is solid. I don't even remember what the active skill... Hold on, let me see. What does your active skill do? I don't even remember. Uh, massively raises ultimate damage and guarantee crit. So that's for like a big damage turn. We don't want that right now. We want Slug to kind of live this. So we'll just do this and then we'll see how the Go 10 Trunks turn turns out next turn. Now keep in mind the Trunks does have like the three turn defense stack. Do we take... Yeah, we're taking some damage. That's not too bad though. It's fine. We'll take that 100k... 11 million man these <laughs> dude the new tech easy a broly just puts everything like it just makes every unit look so weak <laughs> like i see that 11 mil attack stack i'm like that's terrible right i even see like 20 mils i'm like eh, that's all right <laughs> it's no 70 mil attack stat dude even after i did the active skills doing 48 mils like he's crazy dude that tech broly's insane Oh my god, is he the best LREZA? Maybe. Oh. I mean, I I guess he does he doesn't compete with like UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta, but man, they've been treating they've been treating some of these LREZAs pretty good. He might be the best yellow coin LREZA though. I bet he is. He's got an impressive EZA. That tech Broly's crazy. All right, Gohan, give me some dodges. There we go. All right, so now we got the setup I want. We're going to test Trunks in slot one here. Trunks, dude, 90k defense. Bro better dodge. That's all I'm saying. Better be dodging here. And once again, we can stack defense. But to me, like, why does he stack defense? It almost seems pointless. I mean, maybe once it's all said and done with active skill, maybe his defense gets to decent levels. But it's like, dude, he's not tanking anything. Okay, dodge like we want. Um, and he's got two dodges so far. So we're going to count. And we want five dodges. I think that was a five mil attack stat. So yeah, you definitely don't need to invest crit into this guy. And he's got crit built in, right? As you saw there. Wait, was that only 2 million? Maybe it was only 2 million. Yeah, he's not hitting very hard at all. I didn't check the links, but he should be linking really well there. But he dodged out. We got 11 mil for this guy now. Now he's 80% damage direction. So I'm yeah, I'm expecting him to full on tank this. No problem. Double digits. Yep, for sure. That's the idea. You get away with the dodging in slot one, dude. The 80% go 10 and trunks. I'm telling you, they're good. We, we're just waiting for the right setup. Now, this still isn't ideal because you want to run that free-to-play kid trunks on rotation, right? I think he's a great free-to-play free option for players that are running like a hybrids or a Super Saiyan team or something. Um, but I think what's going to be ideal is the physical Dokkan Fest Goten and Trunks because they're going to probably put up some mad damage and hopefully have the crazy dodging in slot one. That's what's going to be ideal that we're going to want to run. All right, what do we got here? Physical trio slot one. Uh, we've got your, sure, let's do your standby thingy. Go into the dynamic punch, sure. I guess I'm sacrificing the defense support, but whatever. Um, do I think, no, we won't kill Cooler here, I doubt it. Highly doubt it. The orbs were looking nice there, though. Okay, see what we got here. Power is surging, so we're not attacking yet. Waiting to get that big punch. Now, we do know Cooler's going to attack at the end here in slot three. So, I wonder who we got coming up. Because they're probably, like, Cooler's probably going to live to that point. Because, once again, this Goten Trunks ro rotation is not doing a lot of damage. But we'll see. So, what? We're two dodges in. We need three more. And then I would love to get the, I mean, we got to get the locking in the video, right? Like, we got to get that in. I'm hoping we don't get unlucky and die because I, <laughs> I don't want to have to do multiple runs, but we'll see. All right, four million for a high school Gohan here. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, this is a super weak rotation, and we're gonna end up with AGL Gohan in slot three. Um, I don't want to die here, so we are gonna double Weiss. Um, plus Trunks is type disadvantage, 
So if he actually gets hit, we're in trouble. So for the sake of keeping the showcase going, I mean, we'll still see how he performs. Oh, wow. His defense really shot up. 300k defense all of a sudden, huh? Okay. That's looking a little bit better. Still not great, but way better than 90k that he was at, right? Okay. All right. And then, oh yeah, dude. This int Goten, like 287k defense doesn't seem crazy, right? But I'm pretty sure he gets a chunk here. Um... Oh, he only gets attack on super, huh? Okay. So he is... Yeah, I don't see any more defense there. Does he have defense here? Okay. So he's going to get a great defense raise here. And then once again, 80% damage reduction. That's why I can get away with the lower defense. Um, let's see what happens. All right. Oh, he got hit right away. He got the defense up. Dude, hit again? Come on, 70%, man. All right, here we go. 5.5 million. Okay, once again, not a crazy attack stat. Additional normal. Give me a super. Dang it, we needed a super. Now he's dodging. Okay, and then 10 mil for this guy. Once again, giving an attack buff. 80%. All right, Gohan. I mean, Gohan doesn't need to dodge here. We want him to, but we double least to be safe because we know the super's coming here. Uh, this cooler is the predictable one. Should be coming as the last attack. There it is. Yep. So I'm like, he's a countdown boss. We know where it's coming. And of course he ate it. So the double we saved us there. We would not have survived that. Now we got domain. I think domain just increases our damage here. I don't think it does anything defensively for us. So that is fine. All right. I feel like just popping active skills to do it. So let's just do it. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that big shot there. Ooh, nice hit. We'll take it. Um, should we do super mega punch? Sure. Let's do super mega punch because we want to get back into our defense support anyways. Sure. We'll just mega punch and kill you. I was going to say, I imagine that's going to kill 43 million, huh? 43 mil crit. We take those. We take those all day. That's cool. Cool animation there. All right. So now we're on Android 13. Um, now we're at the mercy. No items. Okay. So we got the fifth dodge. So this should be 90% damage reduction this turn. This is great. This is what I wanted to see in the video. 163k defense. I mean, if we get hit here, it's, you just throw up your hands, right? It's 90% chance to dodge right here. Let's see what he does. Uh, okay, defense shot up. So he's up to 228k there. Um, if he does... Oh, I know why his defense shot up. was because he got hit on that one turn and he got a defense raise. That's why it shot up. Oh man, but that 90 to 90k, though, that was bad. All right, see what happens. We're, we're expecting full dodge here, but we'll see. Okay, there it is. He dodged the big one. He should hopefully just dodge everything. Oh, and you know what? On this turn, if it's like counting five dodges towards the next one, can you just cycle out 90% chance to dodge? I think you can. I'm pretty sure if you're getting enough attacks and he's got the lock here. So yeah, I think I, now I'm really understanding why he's good because on this turn... He's locking, so he's taking all of these dodges. He's going to guarantee get at least five dodges, which means next turn he should be 90% dodge again. Now, you can't use the locking again, but this is powerful, you guys. For a free-to-play unit, he's literally giving us a ghost usher this turn. He dodged everything. He dodged it all, and then if he works how I think he does... Oh, he actually got hit, dude. That was 10%. He actually got hit. Wow. Um... But yeah, if he works how I, I'm thinking in my mind, I think he's got 90% chance to dodge on this next turn. Sure, let's do your active skill for funsies. All right, and then we got a bunch of int orbs here. I guess we'll eat them here. Give us our defensive support. Do that, do that, and do that. All right, once again, we're at the mercy of the boss. We used our items, so if we die, we die. But we did get to see what I wanted to see in the video and why this chunks actually is kind of good. Like one of like a very solid free to play unit, one of the better ones they've released in a while, I would say. He's definitely usable. Okay, eleven mil here, and honestly, we've gotten away with him in slot one, because um, even the turn I double weiss, he just took normals. I think he would have been fine there, but obviously, the super super hard bosses are doing a million normals. Like he's got to dodge everything. Like, his defense is pretty trash. It's almost, like, laughable. Like, why give him the extra defense buffs? But, like, because I don't think he's going to be tanking much if he does get hit. You're just relying on him to dodge. We're going to go as deep as we can here. 
Uh, all right. Oh, shoot. He locked Goten. Of course he locked Goten. Dude, that's not cool. Yeah, he locked Goten. Um, so they're going to get separated here, which is super bad. Um, so we'll put Trunks in slot one. We'll just see if he dodges. 300k defense because now the LR trio helping him out. We'll just do this and then, yeah, Goten. I mean, it'll be cool if we could see, either, like, if we could see Goten take a big tank here. Although, he's got a super. I messed up the key there. Hopefully, he gets an additional super because he gets a lot of his stats on super. But I think he'll, he'll get the damage direction just when he attacks. He doesn't have the super, so he might be okay. Okay, why do his, his additionals... Well, okay. 1.7. I think that's because he wasn't linked with Goten. Because, yeah, he was hitting around 5 mil earlier. All right. And then Gohan just got sealed up. That's fine. Yeah, Bojack can really wreck a rotation. That's for sure. All right, don't super here. We want you to super... Ah, dang it. I want him to super Goten. Let's see how uh, Gohan takes it here. Okay, 85k. That's a good tank. This Bojack hits pretty hard. Yeah, that's a bummer, though. Rotations got totally mess messed up. Because now, this is where you get wrecked with this team when you're counting on him with his damage reduction. Um, he's not going to have that now, next turn. Even after he attacks. Oh, wow. They're just they're just messing up my day here. Uh, we'll just keep going, but we're probably going to die soon. So we'll just see how far we can get. But we, once again, saw what we needed to see. I think do for dodge or die, like, pretty dang good unit. We'll take it. It does get me excited. I mean, it almost seems like they're trying to set up hybrids, right? Because the new the new Gohan is looking really good. And obviously, being Broly movie, they're, they're going to be doing more Goten and Trunk stuff. So yeah, I'm feeling like they're trying to build out like a hybrid Saiyan movie hero type of setup. Um, and you know, if you're running movie hero, you can obviously run Beast as a really nice hybrid Saiyan as well. So yeah, hybrids might be might be doing some things. And I think it's still highly likely that STR, the STR banner unit trunks, that's a hybrid support. I think he should EZA. Um, I don't know why he didn't already EZA, because he was in the first Broly movie. They should have EZA'd him. <laughs> like the the part one was kind of lacking on EZAs. There really wasn't much there. Um, if you remember worldwide last year, we at least had a couple of banner units. I think we literally just had in Broly, right? So it kind of doesn't make sense to me why they held back some part one easy A's. Because, dude, if you remember what I think last year we had like 11 easy A's. And when we did like that cooler celebration, we had a ton of easy A's. Like, where are the easy A's, man? We got two. <laughs> we got two Broly's and that's it. Um, oh, I guess Videl, right? Videl too. I got to get her easy A done. But like, yeah, it's still not much. So I'm hoping they're playing something big with a couple of super easy A's. Oh, sure. And then he gets sealed and we can't put him in slot one. Great. All right. Well, we will just watch us die right here. <laughs> we'll try him in slot two, but this is once again, uh, only 50% chance to dodge because he gets the 20% slot one. Gohan's probably going to die even on a normal. Wow. He dodged. Gohan's like, I want to live, man. I feel like on a normal type disadvantage, he's going to take a lot. Wow. He dodged out. Good job, Gohan. See, can Trunks do it at 50% dodge with my 30% backup? Let's see what happens. Trunks has taken a lot of hits. Can he do it? Or wait. Okay. He's actually probably, um, he's probably still 70. Because I think, is this the turn he was supposed to be at 90? Maybe that was last turn. He's taking a hit here, though. He's going to get absolutely trounced. Let's see what he takes there. Yeah. Oh, 450 is not terrible, actually. He actually tanked that? Was his defense that good? Hold up. Well, okay, he was guarding, so that's a big thing. He was guarding. But still, I feel like that Bojack hits pretty dang hard. Is his defense a lot better than I think it is? Maybe it is. All right, well, we'll see. I think we'll stop there because this is going to keep going, and we got everything messed up. But you saw, I guess we'll say we'll end on a pretty, I think, impressive tank. Um, You guys let me know what you think of this kit trunks, but... I think he's actually a really great legitimate option you can run, especially if you're like a newer player, free-to-play player. You don't have all the crazy LRs. If you're running an LR trio team or you get the new Gohan, like you definitely can slot that Trunks on there and do some things with them. So let me know what you guys all think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.